never ever get to love me I'm thinking of all the times that you love me Now that I'm popping, you got me right where What's up everybody, this is Desmond D and I'm back in here with another video. Today you guys, I'm just here to let you guys, um, just gonna give you guys my opinion on this so-called beef in between Nick Cannon and Eminem. Now, I personally think that this beef, this whole situation, just situation in general, this whole beef, okay, first off, for those of y'all who do not know why they're beefing, for those of y'all who do, who do know, I'm not talking to y'all, but for those of y'all who don't know why Nick Cannon and Eminem are beefing, I'm going to give you guys a clear history of what happened. It all started back about a few years ago. Eminem and Mariah Carey had a, had their beef. You know what I'm saying? I think um, Eminem was trying to... Um, Talk to Mariah Carey or something like that, and uh, she didn't really like him like that. And Eminem was thinking that, yeah, uh, yes, you do. We went on several dates before, and then that's when they start making this songs about each other. So Mariah Carey did uh, "Obsessed," which is one of my favorite songs from her. Um, basically dissing Eminem, then Eminem dissed her, and mentioned about Nick Cannon's name and all this other stuff. And it's just, it's just crazy, man. It, it, it was a crazy time. And then all of a sudden, years now, here's Eminem and Nick Cannon uh, beefing over this situation. I honestly think this beef is stupid to me. Okay, it's utterly stupid. Nick Cannon is digging himself a bigger grave, okay? He's digging himself a bigger grave than, than no one else has done before. Mind y'all, the last person who tried to beef with Eminem was MGK. And look what happened to MGK. Where is he at? Where is he at? You hardly mention, you hardly, you hardly even hear anything. You barely even hear anything from MGK. Only time you ever hear from him is if he like about to do like some type of tour or he's doing this or this and that. Like, that's it. Other than that, you barely hear from him. I haven't hardly heard from him since then. Since that whole beef between MGK and Eminem. Eminem did a whole diss on MGK. And after that, his career shut down. That's why I'm worried worried for Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, he's good, okay? He's a talented guy, okay? He has his own record label, Incredible. He produced a lot of people's albums. whoop de do? Fine. Stay at that level. Stay on that part where you know what you're doing, okay? Stay on that part, okay? Don't try to, just because Eminem dissed you on a song, just talk about it on a radio session. Don't try to bring your um, boys to do something that you're digging yourself a bigger grave to. You know what I mean? Like when he did those, he dropped those two songs. He dropped those two songs, man. I ain't gonna lie. The first one was sounded sounded pretty cool. Second one, I didn't really listen, listen to it because I forgot all about it. I, I didn't even know that he dropped a second track to that song from the first one to like later on. So, and then another thing. Here's another thing. And I remember when, when the whole Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj beef was going on. When Remy Ma did her diss and everybody was on Remy Ma's ass, Nicki Minaj did a diss track. But when she when she did a diss track, she did a diss track along with Drake and Lil Wayne, the people that she's cool with. Nick Cannon is doing the same thing. He's bringing Charlie Clips and Hitman Holla to a situation that's, that has nothing to do with them. Nothing to do with them. But you're going ahead and going to bring them in. And don't get me wrong. The song, the features that they did, that they had on the song when Charlie Clips and Hitman Holla was on there. Yes, it was cool. I'm not going to lie. It was really dope. It was really dope. I fucked with him. I fucked with all of them. But it's the fact. It's a known fact that you as an as a record producer, as a producer, as a host, and all this other stuff, you're supposed to be doing focusing on that. And then you try to invite him to Wild and Out and try to invite him to the Black Squad so y'all can like go battle it out or something like that. You know you're gonna take a massive L on that goddamn day, man. Come on, man. Why would you invite him to situ to a situation that you know you're gonna lose in? I don't get that shit. I really don't. I really don't. And then Jordan Lucas, once again, 
he chimed in on the situation, basically telling Nick Cannon to Luke, dude, don't don't be mentioning Eminem's name no more, or we gonna have to go after your ass. And that's real talk, because mind you, you're digging yourself into a like, like I said before, you're digging yourself into a bad situation. You're the host of the host of the Max Max um, Singer thing that's on Fox. You're the host of Wildin' Out. You're doing record producers. You got your own record label, Incredible. You got Justina Valentine, a lot of artists that's on your record label that's doing good. But you got to really think, do I really want to take an L to a situation that I know I'm going to lose in? Yes, I know you may beat his ass. I already know that you're probably going to beat his ass. But as far as rapping lyrics-wise, you can't do that. You can't do that. Now, what if Eminem, and I, I know a lot of people is probably going to be thinking, half of people is already thinking they could be dropping, he might drop a diss track to Nick Cannon. Other people think that he might not. He might not do that. And I understand that. I definitely understand that. I definitely understand why he, if he don't do it, then I will understand why. And if he do do it, then I will still understand. But it's like, you know, it's like Eminem is a whole legend out here. He's a legend. It's the point where as soon as you put him on the microphone, he kills it right there. You know what I'm saying? So, why would you sit there and put yourself in that situation? I think it's stupid, and I think it's ridiculous. Now, what if Eminem do come out with a diss track? Your career will be gone, bruh. Your career will be gone, okay? Instantly gone. All you gotta, if Eminem even think about trying to put that as a remix, if there's a remix involved in the situation, I already know the people who's going to be on there. It's probably going to be Jonah Lucas and Royce the 5'9". And maybe 2 Chains. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just putting 2 Chains in there just for example. But Jonah Lucas and for Royce the 5'9", come on now. You put two of them along with Eminem on that one track alone, the whole crew will be dead and gone. Immediately, as far as rap lyrics is concerned, it's so important. Nick Cannon won't even, if he does drop another track, it's not gonna be as fire as Eminem. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I'm not saying this because I'm an Eminem fan. I'm just saying this from from for for points. I'm speaking facts here, because mind you, you're a grown man that's still there beefing with a white with a white rapper that's basically going to end up killing your career. And then you got, then you try to bring Suge Knight and his son into a situation. First of all, Suge Knight is in prison. So I don't know where the hell he get getting his ass at. Suge Knight is, his ass is all the way in prison. So you ain't going to hear from his ass for a while now. His son, I don't know about his son because I barely know the motherfucker. So forget him. It's just the facts. Your career is going to be gone, bro. And... You might as well, and mind you, even the people, the people on social media, they know you taking L's, my nigga. Because look on Twitter. If not, I'm not saying go on Twitter now, but, but like the other day, you go on go on Twitter, they immediately put in R.I.P. Nick Cannon, number one trending on Twitter. This happened just the other day. I wish I could screenshot it so I can set, so I can show y'all this man. R.I.P. Nick Cannon was trending number one on Twitter, on social media. What does that say about you, man? What does that say about you? What's that say? What does that say? Hell, Eminem don't even have to make a diss track. The people is doing diss tracks on you. The fans is already dissing you, man. Eminem don't even have to make a diss track. He's a whole legend. He ain't worried about you. The moral of the story is, man, just be careful. Just be careful. All right, Pete Nick Cannon. That's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video, make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And turn on notifications so you do not miss a single video. Also, but guys, please make sure to go to my gaming channel and subscribe over there. It's Destination Gaming. Make sure you guys go. Hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can over there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe over there. Turn on notifications on that as well. I will we'll be posting another story time. Another story time will be coming up very soon. This is Desmond D saying, peace out.